Right next to me is the brand new 2024 Nissan Frontier SV. Now there is the S trim, the SV trim, and the Pro X. Now this is right in the middle there, and it's priced just under $40,000. Now is it worth $40,000? Well, let's see. I'll be taking you through the front, the back, the inside, the outside, and showing you all about it. And before getting started, I wanna say this is the crew cab. So this has two full doors that open up for the front and the passengers. You can get this in a king cab, but this one is a crew cab. Big thank you to Executive Jeep Nissan of North Haven, Connecticut for allowing me to use this vehicle for the day. Their information will be linked down in the description below. Now the front of the new Nissan Frontier is pretty aggressive, especially compared to the old model. I will put the picture right up now. It is very nice as the grayed out Nissan badge, the grayed out grill there, incredible airflow for up top, down below, your license plate holder down there. And these are actually halogen headlights. They're not LED. On the higher up trim, you can get LEDs, but these are just halogen and halogen turn signals. And then on the side here, you would think these are, you know, kind of active airflow, but they're just plastic here, plastic there, plastic down there. But all in all, it's a nice front. You got the front tier, front and center there. Under the hood, this vehicle is powered by a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V8, producing 310 horsepower and 281 foot pounds of torque, all going through a nine speed automatic transmission with a two speed transfer case with four high and four low. And this engine gives this vehicle an average of 20 miles to the gallon. Open up the rear door, you're greeted to plastic up top, but you've got this nice material down here that's some squishy, and then when you rest your arm, it's pretty squishy and nice. A little storage pocket for some coins or some snacks, window controls, this like fake carbon fiber with it, which is throughout the whole entire vehicle, it's kind of cool. Speaker pocket, cup holders, more storage for snacks. And then in the inside of this vehicle, it's actually pretty nice. You have a, you know, a handle to climb in if you need that, we shut the door. And I got an incredible amount of room. I'm actually kind of shocked. The headroom is okay. I'm 5'8", so the legroom is good, but the headroom, I guess if you're six feet tall, you might want to, you know, think about it. But you got a USB-C, a USB-A port in the rear, and there's no, like, middle hump. There's, like, a tiny, tiny middle hump. But I'm chill just putting my feet here, or I can manspread a little bit. But the hump's not that bad. You got a storage pocket in the back here. No sunroof. But then you want rear cup holders? Just open this up. And you got rear cup holders and a little armrest, and it's pretty plush and nice and comfortable. And the seats are cloth, they're not leather, but they're actually extremely soft. Like I could just chill here, enjoy my time. They don't go back at all. So this upright position is the position you're gonna be in the whole entire car ride. I guess it's not awful, but just keep that in mind. Got a little light up there. And then my cool thing about this vehicle is the little things up here. So you can lift that up, that comes down, you got your, your jack in the back, that will also fold down, but I don't know if I could do this with one hand, but if you open the door up, go back outside, there's a little lever right here. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. You can lift that up, and there's a little storage pocket down there, and it's even with those, so you can hide some secret stuff down there. Open up the front door, and it's pretty much the same as the rear door. There's the same plastic, the same squishy material down there for your arm. The only difference is just a bigger door. There's bigger storage pockets for snacks, coins, bigger speaker, bigger carbon fiber trim. But then you got a one touch automatic window. So the driver's window, one touch will go down, one touch will go up. But the other windows are not, you have to hold that down. You got your mirror controls, your lock, and your rear window stopper. The seats up front are also cloth. And this is actually power operated, just the driver's seat. The passengers is not power operated. And this was pretty cool, I discovered this. I didn't actually know what it was at first. There's a little lever on the side here. It's like, what is that? This controls the lumbar. I don't know if you could see it there, but this goes in and out, adjust this lever. So it's actually pretty cool. You've got lumbar support, but it's a little, little hidden lumbar. The steering wheel in the vehicle is not leather. It's hard plastic, but it still feels pretty comfortable in the hand. I'm not gonna lie. Nice Nissan badge. Talk text volume controls on the left side, cruise control on the right side. This vehicle has analog speedometers and tachometers, but it has a center screen that shows your speed and a lot of other stuff. Your off-road stuff, auxiliary gauges, your oil temperature, all these cool different things that a lot of other vehicles don't really have. And this vehicle does have front collision warning where it detects if you're getting close to a vehicle like at a high speed. So it'll start beeping at you saying, hey, slow down and brake or you're gonna hit that vehicle. And right in the center from the wheel to the touchscreen, you got your two speed transfer case. So you got two wheel drive, four wheel high, and then push this in and you got four wheel low. The touchscreen in the center has music, phone connectivity, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and it even, Put this in reverse 
and you even got a backup camera with moving trajectory lines. So it's very easy to park this truck. Below the touchscreen, you have your auto start and stop button. You can turn that off if you don't want to. You have physical AC controls and heat controls. Turn that on, heat and AC goes on. These are not heated seats up front, but there's a USB-C, USB-A port, a spot to put your phone. It's not a wireless charging pad, but there's still a little spot here. Two cup holders, another spot for another phone, I guess. Cigarette lighter port, and, you know, put a little charger in there if you want. And then this, you got a nice storage for, you know, your armrest. It's very nice and plush. Open it up and you got a credible amount of storage. It's very deep and then slots for pens. The rear of the Nissan Frontier is actually pretty cool because you have rear LED taillights. When the front is halogen, in the rear it's LED. You have a third brake light up at the top there and then Frontier is embedded in the body. So everyone driving by you knows exactly what you're driving. The Nissan badge front and center, SV 4x4, and then it comes with a key to lock the bed. So you can have the bed locked and the doors open, which I think is pretty cool. But then you want to open up the bed, it's a soft opening and closing door. So it just doesn't slam down, it just opens up. And I could sit in here totally fine, just it sports the weight of me. And this is actually a 59.5 inch bed. So that comes out to be four foot 11. So it's a little too small for me to lay down completely flatted, but it's a nice size. You can put all your extra stuff that you need in there. And that was a quick review of the 2024 Nissan Frontier SV. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you absolutely hate it? Do you think it's worth the $40,000? Let me know in the comments below. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to keep updated with more content. And a huge shout out to Executive Jeep Nissan of North Haven, Connecticut for allowing me to use this vehicle for the day. The information will be linked in the description below.